What's up there SEO pros? A lot of you were interested in how I was able to afford a Corvette with just a single webinar that I did back in January. So just a disclaimer, a lot of you are going to say probably that this isn't that nice of a car and that I'm turning into Ty Lopez and I'm just doing videos showing how I was able to afford a car and sell fake lessons, that kind of thing. That's not true. I actually just wanted to show you guys this because it's not really about the car. It's not really about how much money I made. It's just about giving you guys an angle, showing how I did something that was sort of impressive uh, just with the webinar. And, and it's not going to be one of those sales videos that just tells you, oh, this is how much money I made and you can too. I'm just going to show you what I did. And if you guys want to be able to replicate this, you know, I'll tell you how you can do that as well. Um, but I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just giving you guys a, kind of a cool story. So um, first of all, this isn't the total amount I made from January to February. 28th. This is just the amount that went into Stripe. There was a good amount that went into PayPal as well. I think it wound up to be around $24,000 because uh, for the thing I was selling, there was the option of PayPal as well. And uh, you can see here that was 37 new customers, 54 successful payments, and the net volume of $15,726.90. So how I did this, I created products. Now, first of all, it wasn't just like any product. I created products that most of you guys are familiar with, which is the uh, SEO courses I sell. So step number one, if you do want to replicate a process like this, would be to create some sort of product that you can sell. Now, what I did is I knew that my audience in the SEO network, White Hat SEO network, which if you guys aren't in that, I would really suggest you join us, just facebook.com forward slash White Hat SEO network and actually sorry forward slash groups forward slash white hat seo network and the thing that i do when i sell my courses which i haven't done for a while and the reason why i don't like to sell courses as much anymore is because i like to keep my information as public as possible i don't like making people have to buy in order to get into the information i like to be able to share in a way that's free but anyways what i'll generally do is i'll do some sort of poll and i'll say um you know what would you guys be interested in learning about what would be a SEO course you'd like to buy. And then I'll put a different a few different options, let people add their own as well by clicking allow people to choose multiple options. And then people will tell me. So if I get enough people, say 30 people interested in let's say how to uh, get more SEO clients course. Then the next thing I'll do is let's say a few days later, I'll make another question. I'll say, how much would you spend? on said SEO course and then I'll put forward like different options for pricing and generally people will pay around you know $40, $97, whatever. And so that's what I'll do is I'll I'll then find enough people who are interested in it. Let's say if there's 30 people and then I'll do a smoke screen sale meaning that I will launch the course. I'll say uh, pre-sale for the course uh, and I'll say special price $97 or whatever it is for the pre-sale. Let's see if I still have a pre-sale, Chase Reiner pre-sale. Um, let's see, here it is, there's an old page. And this was a uh, course that I actually sold a good amount of for. I actually sold $10,000 worth of this course with this landing page. And I just said, local SEO domination course uh, pre-sale. And I just told everything that you know they would learn within that course. I just outlined what I wanted to teach. And then all of these different things I just went over and created once I had enough people buy it. Because the cool thing about ClickFunnels or any sort of billing software really is that if nobody, if you don't get enough people to sign up for it, you just go ahead and uh, refund them. So that's called the smoke screen. So generally I will get enough people. And let's say I got 30 or 40 people uh, signing up for the pre-sale. That's already $4,000 and that alone is worth making the course. So then after that, after the course is finally made, what I'll end up doing is sell it for a higher retainer, let's say $300. So after about four or five months, I wound up creating, let's say, I think three, four different courses. I had the local SEO course. I had all these different courses. And what I did is I wound up bundling them all together along with you know, the roadmap template I made. So I just made a bunch of stuff that's helpful to people and you know, I pretty much just bundled it together and what I did is I wound up getting outreach to by a good friend, uh, Cotton Grammar, and he said, hey look man, I want you to 
make a pitch. I want you to sell something in my group. I don't know why he said it. He just wanted me to go ahead and do it. And uh, he actually more specifically said, you know, I want you to present something of value. And if people are interested in buying uh, what you have to sell, you know, they'll, they'll buy it. So I wound up going into his group, Digital Planet, on January 26, I believe. He, um, you know, made a post saying this is the guy who doesn't do link building and he's going to show you how he did white hat SEO um, and did it without link building uh, and ranked a uh, client from zero to 20,000 organic visits a month without link building. And a lot of people are interested in this. By the way, if you're interested in this, I just did a recent video kind of overviewing that webinar. I didn't actually um, publish that webinar uh, because it was private in that group, but the um, kind of the overview of me talking about how I do SEO that link building um, is the second will be the second video after this video. But either way, um, after po you know making the webinar, which all I did is I just create a created a big slideshow, which I'll show you over here. Slideshows are super easy to do. You just you know kind of come up with your key points, uh, and you can do it on Google Drive. That's how I did it. Let me go into here. Presentations, and here it is. So I just talked about um, how to make money without link building and competitive niches, uh, and I just did a couple slides saying who I was. And, it, and these all these are all very similar. You just have a story. This is what a lot of people do when they sell. They get on a webinar. They get people to opt into their free email or whatever it is, you know, free email list, and then they end up getting people on a webinar, and then they end up telling them a story about, you know, this is where I was. Um, and this is the achievements I have, this is how much money I'm making, this is how I did it, boom, boom, boom. And then the solution is, you know, whatever uh, thing that people want to continue to get after that. So um, here you can see here we had the Chase Trainer SEO Nexus bundle, which was all of the different courses combined, um, plus the templates and everything for a low price of $997. And I wound up getting, I think, uh, 24 people who bought that, which I was really su surprised about. But... That's all I did. And and let me tell you guys, I didn't just do this in his group. I did this on, you know, my own channel as well. Uh, sorry, my own webinar as well that I generated uh, people off of from a uh, ad that I did. So you can always, you know, do this for yourself as well. There's a lot of people who, um, you know, don't just go post on other people's Facebook groups or do webinars on other people's Facebook groups. What they'll do is they'll create ads and then they'll drive traffic from that ad into some sort of free email list, like I said, uh, or some sort of free sign up. And then they'll do a webinar and they'll do that same sort of layout. Oh, it looks like this might be. Is this the webinar the whole replay? point of this? Oh, yeah, this is the webinar replay. So if you guys want to watch this, um, I would recommend going and watching this because it is kind of a cool webinar. I spent a lot of time on it and um, it just talks about how I, you know, more specifically how I do SEO without doing link building. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I was able to afford. And then what wound up happening, here's the story. I uh, I wound up finding, f f I was on Craigslist one day and I found this uh, car that was this green one right here. This is the one I have. Where is it? It's right uh, here uh, for like $7,000, which like I said, this is not a super expensive car, uh, but I got a really good deal on it. And I was like, dude, I've always wanted a Corvette. And I think at age 24, you know, not a bad car to own. It's not, you know, like what some 24-year-old SEOs are driving or social media, whatever's, you know, they're driving their Lambos and stuff, but I'll get there one day. So that's how I was able to afford a Corvette with one webinar. If you'd like to see more specifically how to generate leads for a webinar and how to do more of this kind of stuff, make sure you leave a comment, let me know, and I can make more videos like this in the future. So that's it for now, guys. Until I see you all next time, happy SEOing.